In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Calico Project Document Tools package. The Calico Project Spell Check package has already been installed in this notebook. So the first thing you want to do is create a new notebook, and then in your browser go to calicoproject.org slash iCalico. On this web page, scroll down to the Notebook Extensions section and find the package that you want to install. In this case, it's the Document Tools package. You're going to copy that command from this website. Back in our notebook, we can paste this command into any code cell and execute that cell to install the package onto our system. Uh, once that's done, there are two ways to install this package into our notebooks. So the first way is just to install it onto a single notebook and run it when we need it. Um, in order to do that, go back to the Calico project webpage and copy this block of code right here. We can paste that into any code cell and make sure you only have the package that you want to install on your system. In this case, it's the document tools. And then you can run that, uh, that piece of code. As you can see, we now have new buttons um, for all of our document tools extensions in our notebook. Um, if you want to have this extension run in every notebook, there's another way to do that. So what you need to do is first locate where the IPython folder is on your system. And we can do that by running IPython locate. And then we need to edit our custom.js file. So in order to do that, we can run a notepad command um, and copy the location we found before. And then at the end, add on backslash profile default underscore default. backslash um, static, backslash custom, backslash custom.js. You should get a notepad win window that pops up. If you've loaded any other extensions this way, you'll see them here. Um, and in order to load the extension we just created, simply add it to the list. Uh, in this case, it's calico-document-tools. Um, save this file, close it, and in order to see these changes reflected for all your notebooks, just restart the IPython notebook program.